Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 12th to the 18th of October 2020. We begin the week with the Sun square Jupiter and this is important because throughout the week the Sun will then go and square Pluto and Saturn. So a quick recap, Jupiter, Pluto and Saturn have all been meeting in Capricorn to really help us deconstruct our old fidelity, build a strong framework that supports us and then amplify our authority and sovereignty. So we're really being changed in 2020 to be able to live from a state of empowerment and not be crushed by the system or kept in a box. So this week starts with the Sun square Jupiter and it's worth looking at your king or queen archetype, your inner majesty, to anchor on this and to amplify it because much of the world has people kept in a state of arrested development, acting in a childish fashion and giving away their power to the authorities. But once we realise that we are our own power, we are our own governing body, then we can centre on that and that in turn brings that internal structure and support, which is where we'll be coming from in 2021. So beginning the week there with Sun square Jupiter, a square is a challenging aspect, but there's a challenge there that can be met and great rewards can come from that. So considering our king or queen archetype and actually stepping into that supportive and golden space is where we begin this weekend. The rest of the week jumps around a little, but on Monday it's time to just stop and take stock. In order to make these necessary changes, we have to get out of the beliefs and behaviour patterns of what put us into the box in the first place. So if you take a look to see where things are flowing effortlessly, where we're being called to follow, that's a cellular soulful calling when we stop and listen, rather than the mind saying, I have to do this, I've got to, I should. Because sometimes we make life harder than it needs to be by staying stuck on an idea that isn't working and trying to make it work. But once we step back and reflect and observe, we can see that things are actually flowing in a slightly different direction. And when we're flexible enough to observe and make necessary changes, then that can lead us on a different path of effortlessness and ease. So take a stop on Monday just to see where you're trying too hard or whether what you're trying for is actually an old idea draining your energy and if there's something better that you could relax into. By Tuesday we have the Sun opposite Mars. Both of these are very fiery energies and these can ignite our soul passion. So Mars is retrograde so this may mean that we're going to go back to something that was once the focus of our passion but we left behind because of the obligations and responsibilities of life. But to revisit that simple excitement and relight the spark, this is very much going to be energising us and directing us as we learn to follow that pulse and give ourselves permission to be our true selves. By Wednesday we have Mercury turning retrograde at 11 degrees Scorpio for those that are following along. So the phrase that came to me for this is, there is no time like the present. So with the Mercury retrograde, time can stand still or speed up or both. And as we go into the bowels of Scorpio, the outside world is going to speed up in a deluge of revelations. Things that are lurking in the shadows need to be brought up and out. And in this year, like no other, this is going to be a very, very powerful couple of weeks. So if things get a little crazy on the outside, we always know that the still and quiet centre is where eternal truth prevails. So allowing the process to happen but not getting caught up will be the key to this Mercury retrograde. By Thursday, we now have the Sun square Pluto. So the Sun square Jupiter challenges us to find our sovereignty. The Sun square Pluto is saying let go of everything that's a waste of vital life force energy. So Pluto's been the star of 2020 so far and now going direct, we've been shown where we've been wasting our time and our energy. And after the long haul of the retrograde, the sun now brings forth the energy for us to rebuild from the core. 
So we've been fundamentally changed and stripped back. And as Thursday is also the dark moon, this is a great opportunity to let negativity go and make some room for positive flow and to honour the process. Because by Friday we have the new moon in Libra and that's 23 degrees Libra at 20.32 UK time. And this new moon can soothe the soul, bridge the gap between separation and unity consciousness. If we allow the gentle waves to wash over us and heal the illusion of inner division and struggle, if we can bring head and heart into alignment and dance on the wavelengths of pure potential, this is a great letting go. As many of the difficulties in our life come from our mental plan and the beliefs and behaviours that creates. But here we can just dive into all possibility. And this will, like I said earlier, help us see the direction that things are actually flowing when we stop trying to think and control everything with the mind. Then by the weekend we have the Sun square Saturn, so this is the third of the squares. Now although we might change our minds a little over the Mercury retrograde period in Scorpio, and we may recenter our passion while Mars retrogrades in Aries, here I feel we can start to feel an inkling of the life that we'd like to create going forwards. This is our core strength with Saturn, energised with the Sun, asking for us to focus our attention on that which supports us at the core. At the same time, Venus is opposite Neptune, and this brings dreams and visions through our imagination to assure that we're not thinking too small. So I feel here we're standing at the edge of a new way of being as we head towards the winter solstice, which is a really stellar, bright, rebirth alignment. We're going to start to feel more positivity, excitement and a sense of reality coming in with each coming day that we have let the old self go, that we have stood in our core strength, that we have centred in our majesty and that we truly can manifest from our passion and create the lives that we want as we let go of the rational, struggling, separative, control mind which hasn't worked for us. We start to dream bigger and better. So really very, very deep week here. We're coming to the culmination point of 2020. We're starting to feel the rewards come in, even though we don't need to make decisions or act on that just yet. Maybe just allow some space to dream possibility, the potential, to know how you'd like to feel, to allow yourself to receive and to really let go of limitations and separation consciousness that's kept us entrapped all this time. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available one-to-one -one for readings, coaching and tuition because we really are in the last few weeks of this magnificent transformation or transmutation really. We're leaving one form behind, really elevating into a new conscious creator space. If you'd like to follow along day by day, I do post on Facebook at AstroZo, Instagram at ZoeHind7, and these videos and more are available on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro, because it really is a day by day affair now. We're coming to the end of a very long workshop, and hopefully you'll start to feel the rewards coming in, that it was worthwhile, that it needed to happen, we had to deconstruct, create some space, and now we're going to start to see some much more positive energy come in through the coming weeks. So those are the horoscopes this week, and I'll see you next week.